All right, now we're going to look at a chi-square distribution if we have unequal proportions. Here's a biology uh, question. Red-eyed fruit flies. Biology, a biologist wished to mate two fruit flies having genetic makeup of R, big R, little r, big C, little c, indicating that each has a one dominant gene R and one recessive gene for eye color, along with one dominant gene and one recessive gene for each wing type. Each offspring will receive one gene from each of, of the two traits from each parent. The following table is called, often called the Punnett square, uh, shows the possible combination of genes received by the offspring. This is what we get. Any offspring receiving a capital R gene will have red eyes, and any offspring having C will have straight wings. So based off the Punnett square, biologists predict that the ratio of nine red-eyed straight-winged, three curly red-eyed curly-winged, three white-eyed straight-winged, and Z, one white-eyed curly-winged offspring. To test the, their hypothesis about the distribution of offspring, biologists mate the fruit flies. Of the 200 offspring, 99 have red eyes and straight wings, 42 have red eyes and curly wings, 49 have white eyes and straight wings, and 10 of them have white eyes and curly wings. Do the data vary significantly from what the biologists had expected? This is a big problem. Um, and let's see if we can solve it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to write a null hypothesis. So these do not have equal propor proportion. So um, what we'd want to do is we have 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. So our proportion would be, so the proportions of offspring for fruit flies is 9 red eye straight wing to 3 red eyed curly wing to 3 white eye straight wing to one white eye, white eye curly wing. Now, the alternative hypothesis should just the proportions above are not true. All right, so that's what we have. We have to look at the conditions. Does it come from a random sample? Um, they just say offspring. It doesn't necessarily say a random sample. Uh, so we don't know, or it doesn't say that it comes from flies are from a random sample. Uh, are all expected counts greater than five. So if we had 200, now this is where we have to do a little bit of math here. So uh, the proportions are nine to three to three to one. So there's a nine sixteenth chance, because it's our nine plus three plus three plus one there's a 9 16 chance that they'll be red-eyed and straight wings. There'll be a 3 out of 16 chance that they'll be red-eyed and curly wings. Another 3 16 chance they'll be white-eyed and straight. And a 1 16 chance that they'll be white-eyed and curly. So that's what we have. So we have to multiply all these numbers by 200. So 200 times 9 sixteenths, that's going to be expected count of 
112.5. So this is expected. And then 3 times 200 divided by 16. This one would be 37.5. And this one's the same number, so that's 37.5. And now this last one will be 12.5. Now with a chi-square distribution, you must uh, show the expected count when you uh, talk about all expected counts are greater than five. All right. Now calculations. Now what we want to do is we want to calculate based off these counts. So we know the expected, the actual counts were 99, 42, 49, and 10. So 99, 42, 49, and 10. So to show our work, what we're going to do is we're going to observed minus expected squared over expected. So our value is 99 minus expected squared over expected plus 42 minus 37.5 squared over 37.5 plus 49 minus 37.5 squared over 37.5. And then finally, 10 minus 12.5 squared over 12.5. Now I'm going to take a second to do this on my calculator. All right, I got 1.62. Plus 0.54 plus 3.5267 plus 0.5. And now when I sum them up, all right, now if we add these up, I got 6.186 repeating. So 6.1867, whatever. That's going to be my x squared statistic. And that's going to approximate my chi squared. So if I look at my chi squared, now we look at the degree of freedom. There were four data points. So that category is minus one, brings us to three. Now, our value was 6.2-ish. So we look along here until we get to 6.2. There. And it's 6.18, so it's somewhere in here. So I know my p-value is between 0 0.10 and 0 0.05. So p-value is between 0 0.0 and 0 0.05. And if I want to do my chi-squared CDF, I'm going to go from 6.2 to infinity with a degree of freedom of 3. And it actually is a little over 1. So it's about 0.1 for our p-value. So now let's interpret this. So um, we fail to reject the null. because the p-value is above alpha equals 0 0.05. We have, or we don't have evidence that the fruit flies are different from our 
expected proportion. All right, and that's a chi-squared goodness-to-fit test.